May 31st is an American holiday celebrating the veterans who have served in the military for all our wars which we have fought many. I was in the service in the Vietnam era never went to Vietnam, went to Alaska, Turkey um, stationed mainly in the United States but it's just a day to respect veterans. I love veteran and especially World War II war movies. John Wayne and they were expendable. The Flying Leather Nicks. Nicks. I love the British A Bridge Too Far. Battle of Britain which had Richard Burton in it in a very good role. Um, these were British ones were pretty much anthology movies in other words there was no real star just a lot of actors of who were prominent at that time and I loved of course the longest day the American movie General Patton I did like that these are all movies I sort of watch on a rotating basis Battle Cry We've made some great war movies. Some of the early ones that were made in 40, 41, 42, 43 were strictly propaganda movies. Like the British made one. Several that when all else fails were straight, good old fashioned, rip roaring propaganda. Uh, it wasn't until the war was almost over that an American movie could be made where a soldier expressed fear, where a soldier could say, what am I doing here on this stupid island? Uh, they were a little unrealistic because uh, Mrs. Roosevelt insisted that the movie show some integration. Let's face it, World War II, the soldiers weren't integrated. Uh, black units were not used or till the Battle of the Bulge when General Eisenhower just had run out of army units and on his own he just said hey he threw the blacks in to do actual fighting they had fought before but that wasn't their prime job this time it was their job so a salute to veterans and all from World War II to present day Afghanistan and Iraq. Even if you don't like what they're doing overseas now, they're following orders. Don't blame them. Blame other people. But the individual soldier, he's just doing what he can to help his country. Thank you. Have a nice day.